Now, the basically one more question we'll put here, and this question actually says that find the least positive integer in the range of the function integer in the range of the function x square minus x plus 1 divided by x square plus 3x minus 3 that's the question you find so i hope all of you tried this question now let's solve for it guys okay so find the least positive x square minus x plus 1 plus x square plus 3x minus 3 that's the question actually right so once you're looking at looking at this question okay so obviously range means basically what we had discussed earlier also no whenever we have any function of let's say y is equal to fx so basically or fx so basically all the value which y can take that is the range of the function if i equate it to y so basically i want what all this value this whole function can take that's the range of the function actually fine okay okay so let's just solve it guys so you just equate to y y is equal to x square minus x plus 1 upon x square plus 3x minus 3 just cross multiply to make it in terms of y here so x square y plus 3xy minus 3y is equal to x square minus x plus 1 you just, just combine these terms here so i'll get y i'll get y minus 1 into x square okay so here i'll get here y minus 1 into x square then uh, 3y plus 1 correct yeah 3y because from these two terms actually these two terms i can get 3y plus 1 into x as common 3y plus 1 be yes fine yeah and then we can have this minus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 so it's a quadratic equation right in terms of x x is equal to b plus c equal to 0 since x is real x so d discriminant should be greater than equal to 0 so once d is greater than equal to 0 here so we can write b divided d b square minus 4 ac you can simply write here 3y plus 1 whole a square b square minus 4 into y minus 1 into 3y uh, sorry minus 3y minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 and yeah. you should be like b square minus 4 ac is greater than equal to 0 right so b we, we, we just thought in terms of what ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 okay so this whole minus 3 minus uh, minus 3 by minus 1 equal, equal to 0 is my sorry minus 3 minus 1 is my c here fine let's move on so if i further uh, uh, think on this so what, what i actually will get here therefore so i'll get 9y square plus 1 plus 6y minus 4y and into uh, basically minus 4y into minus 3y is plus 12y square okay then minus 4y into minus 1 is equal to plus 4y then uh, plus 4 into minus 3y is minus 12y okay and plus 4 into uh, 1 minus uh, minus 1 is what should be minus 4 that should be greater than equal to 0 i hope it is correct right let's check once so i am getting 21 y square here okay and then uh, minus then 6 y plus 4 y minus 2 y okay and then minus 3 correct it should be minus 3 yeah i think it is correct okay all fine is greater than equal to 0 okay so 21 into 3 is 63 so i can break it like 7 and 9 so 21 is square minus uh, 9 y plus 7 y minus 3 is greater than equal to 0 then we can further move on uh, like if i take 3 y common here i'll take uh, 7 y minus 3 plus 1 into 7 y minus 3 is greater than equal to 0 and then 3 y plus 1 into 7 y minus 3 is greater than equal to 0 so we have got two roots here right so what are the roots guys so roots are y is equal to minus 1 by 3 and 7 sorry 3 by 7 okay so it is greater than equal to 0 so we have we already already know now we have done many times right it should be left than of the uh, left side of the smaller root and right side of the bigger root right? so basically if i draw this also i can draw a graph also or number line also minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 7 okay so basically this side positive negative and positive so x belongs to minus infinity infinity to minus 1 by 3 union 3 by 7 to infinity so that should be the answer of this question here fine okay i should i should find least positive integer no okay fine 
so basically least positive integer satisfying it is 3 by 7 to infinity so 1 right 3 by 7 is equal to 0 to 1 no so 3 by 7 to infinity that means 1 is the answer so 1 is the least positive integer that should be the answer and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving, this is a fun because after every question you get, you get, get, you get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better, you rank, the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the CAT, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this, I think, okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription, I think around 20,000 or 75% scholarship or 50%. So it's a great prizes are on offer here, okay. So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here, Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely, absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at 12 p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday, give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.